Hello everyone, it's Creative Redundancy back again. In this video, I'm going to show off the tea light candle heater. Now, before I get into the main part of the video, please use caution when using this. As open flame is dangerous. Use in an open ventilated area at all costs and avoid using them inside a shelter or inside like a home or an apartment. Now I'm going to show a couple of examples that I have right now. Here's one right here, as you can see. Here's another one right here. And here's a third example of a couple of uh, tea light candle heaters. Now depending what you have you can add various things in like matches, lighter, depending how much room you have and such and such so maybe you get something like this or something like this, uh, maybe something like that something like this for example and this one has holes in it as you can see or a mesh now taking this one for example, I have six in here and I find that six, four those kind of numbers are pretty good if you can fit that many tea light candles in to your tin. And then use a birthday candle, grab your flame source, light your birthday candle if you can, if you can get one in the setup, and use it to light the rest of the candles. Like so. That way you're conserving uh, your resource of your lighter. I'm burning all the fuel out. As this will actually take quite a bit of fuel. Blow out your birthday candle. As you can see. Now you have a little heater right here. And I can, actually I can feel the heat actually above where you can actually see my hand right now. Now if I wanted to, I could blow that out, put that out, just use four if I wanted to. And when I'm done with it, blow it out and put one way and put the lid on. Put it off to the side. Like I said, do it in a ventilated area as there may be smoke after you blow it out. I'll do it again here. Now, all these candles have been pre-lit, so it just makes it that much easier to light up. As you can see. Lots of heat. This one right here. Roll this one out. Put its lid back on. As you can see, all four are lit. Put something on the top. Wait a couple of seconds here. As you can see, it still goes. So you could potentially use this to heat up uh, food or cook food. There's lots of videos online about it on YouTube. Uh, people have cooked eggs, bacon. Well, those those videos usually they use like nine candles, for example. So if you're only if you're using less, it'll definitely take more time. Now you can actually use the tea light candle heater with a heat sink like a flower pot to make it and a more elaborate type of heater. There's videos on YouTube about it too. Just gotta search for it. Now a tea light candle heater is really easy to make. 
just gotta pick out a tin that's the right size and shape for you. Like this 4 1 or this 6 1. You can add lighters, matches, uh, especially a birthday candle if you can. Makes it lighting that much easier. Light your birthday candle, use the candle to light tea light candles. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and hit like. Now, leave me a comment down below on what you think about this and what you would use this for. Would you find this useful when it's raining, everything's wet? Right? Maybe you, you want to use this during the winter to keep your hands warm. Or uh, dry out some old tinder so you can actually start that fire, for example. Now, if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe so you can check out the latest content from me. Now, as the world changes, so must oneself to reach a new level of skill and knowledge one must practice. One person can help everyone in this world, but one person can help someone in this world. Alright guys, until the next video, see you out. Peace.